We hired a professional makeup artist to teach us how to do this popular clean girl bridal look. So stick around to the end to see how it all comes together. Oh my goodness! Hi! Good morning! I'm so happy to see you. Yay. What is clean girl makeup? Clean girl makeup is really an aesthetic. It just depends on who you ask. But if you're asking me... Which I am. You definitely <laughs> are. It's not overdone. It's not all of this super highlight, super contour, super powder. It's fresh. <laughs> yeah, are you choking today? <laughs> Slightly. How do you do clean girl, but make it bridal? So clean girl, but make it bridal. You can always have a statement moment. Having a statement eye kind of lends itself to a little bit more of a dramatic right. moment. Are looking at clean girl we are really wanting a skin in the eyes to kind of be minimal and clean girl makeup the face is still done there's still powerful elements such as like a blushed lip but when we're talking makeup no makeup we're not really wanting to see really any makeup on the skin what are you using Ooh. <laughs> I've been a benefit brow girly for a very long time this brow pencil in particular is NYX, believe it or not. No, just not kidding, this. Elf. Perfect. Any brow pencils that you don't love? I find that traditional cold pencils don't work for me, because um, I find that they need to be set with something afterwards. Mm -hmm. I prefer a more waxy brow pencil, similar to the one I just used in Elf. Benefits brow pencils are really nice. Okay, so Marvin did my hair and makeup for Marvin, and one of the best things you told me to do, because I had bridesmaids who were black, who were white, who were, we had all races, skin colors, hair types. And I remember like showing you a picture and you were like reference photos. Everyone needs to like, so we created, this is so type A. I remember texting everyone and being like, send me a picture of you, natural skin, nothing on your face. And then you need to pre-pick out your hairstyles, pre-create photos so that we could send it to you and your team mm -hmm. to make sure that everyone can do it on the wedding day. And everyone, I mean, looked amazing in my opinion. Proper communication with your glam artist is crucial because the glam artist is gonna be with you for, if not the entire day, for a large portion of the get ready experience. And for me, reference photos are absolutely essential in being able to have a conversation because the makeup artist can have the conversation. However, if the bride isn't being able to articulate what she's looking for, we might be able to get to a place where the bride maybe wants to book with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you ever had someone who like sent you a reference photo and you're like, that won't look good. It's not that it won't <laughs> look good, <laughs> but will it look good for this person? You know, makeup is for everyone, but not every look is for every person. Mm. If something doesn't quite hit the mark, then I'm gonna share that. <laughs> Wedding days are very emotional. Some days it's outside, some days it's inside with tears yeah. and all of these fun little things. We wanna make sure that through it all, it stays. One of my favorite brands is Danessa Myricks. Mm. She's a black woman owned brand. She creates a lot of products with black women in mind. She makes these really amazing products called Color Fix. And the color I'm using right now is Nude Number no. 9. It's a waterproof and weatherproof and sweatproof and oh, crease proof. This is incredible. Because we're creating a clean girl pretty moment and we're not going for like a full glam experience right now, this just allows for it to be buffed onto the lid really gorgeously. It packs a powerful punch. A lot of Danessa's products do because she's an artist and creates products for artists and mm. people who um, are fans and lovers of makeup. I'm layering a little bit of powder eyeshadow. Whisper, which is my favorite increment of measurement, over the cream shadow just to really lock it in place. Now that we have the amazing vitamin rich skin base. Wait, okay, I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> I know we're moving to skin, but my question is, Yeah. do you start with eyes? I think it's a personal preference. Cool. The vitamin rich skin base by Bobbi Brown is just one of those really lovely products that I've had in my kit for a really long time. For the makeup, we're doing this with the beauty blender. We are. For the skin, so this is a foundation? I've used Sisado Synchro Skin um, Radiant Lifting Foundation for a long time, and I've also also used Face Atelier Foundation, okay. the Ultra Foundation Pro. These two foundations used in conjunction with each other just create like a really stunning 
makeup. One of the things that I love about Synchro Skin from Shiseido is that it has like these light reflecting properties. It also has an SPF of 30 in it. And then Face Atelier is really a pro brand. Okay. And it's known for being in a lot of movie trailers, a lot of TV trailers, because it just melts into the skin and gives a very second skin finish. Okay, so you're mixing the matte and the dewy together yes. to create the skin. Yes. Love. And a medium to full coverage. One of the things that I'm doing right now is I'm building in natural feeling contour. Okay. When we just use a solid foundation all mm -hmm. over the face. It kind of removes a little bit of the face's natural dimension. I prefer to use a deeper foundation. It still feels like skin. Yeah, where do you put contour? I like to build contour in the natural grooves of where the face is naturally going to begin to bend mm -hmm. and shape itself. Who One, is the clean aesthetic girl? It is not the girl who wants to be on Selling Sunset it's the below deck girly. Fresh, easy breezy. We're just doing our concealer. Okay. My go-to and has been my go-to for a really long time is the Nessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover. I was just featured in Vogue and it was talking about like Gen Z versus millennial weddings. That feels very clean girl to me. Kind yes. of like Gen Z mm -hmm. and that vibe. To look so effortless, you have to produce it. We see in some of these other magazines mm -hmm. and these girls look like they have on no makeup. When somebody has that, oh, I just got out of the ocean beachy tousled hair moment, <laughs> there's a lot that goes into that experience. <laughs> yeah. The lashes have been curled, even if she doesn't have on mascara. Tell me a little bit about the blush. Cinna Cosmetics makes these really beautiful cream 4K blushes mm -hmm. that are amazing for camera because they melt into the skin to create this second skin experience. It holds up under 8K cameras. How is bridal makeup different than like if you were just getting your makeup done for like a photo shoot? A bride wants to look like herself. Yeah. It needs the last when you cry, not have streaks running down your face. Everything needs to be waterproof. Yeah. Curling your lashes. Wait, what do I do? Look down. Okay. And I'm gonna say, everything okay? <laughs> that needs a response. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this mascara. One of my all time favorites. It is the Extended Play Mascara from MAC Cosmetics. Mm. It's going to go over this beautiful lip that we have here and create just a little bit of structure. Now, I'm a humongous fan of lips that maybe have been slightly enhanced from the <laughs> outside world. That's not really the clean girl yeah. vibe, right? That's more of like a full glam moment. For this, I'm going right inside of your lip line just to make sure that we're creating a little bit of structure. I'm not gonna pull it all the way around the lip. We're gonna take a brush and really blend out these edges. So what I'm finishing off this look with is the NYX Butter Gloss. Now that we've brushed on this gorgeous gloss, who needs the makeup to stay all day? The bride. And so the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray is what I start with. I just briefly cover the eyes so that way we're not like spraying the eyes. No makeup <laughs> can that. be complete without on till dawn. No, I saw someone put this on when they went into labor and their makeup looked flawless. Screaming. <laughs> So what we did is first we just kind of did a light cleanse with micellar water. We prepped the skin with vitamin rich skin base from Bobbi Brown. We groomed our beautiful brows. We used e.l.f. for that, like surprise, surprise. <laughs> and then we did the eyes because I'm a fan of doing the eyes first. That also gives the time for the skin base to kind of okay. drink into the skin. And with the skin we used um, Synchro Skin Radiant Lip Foundation from Shiseido. Hero, hero, hero product. And and mix that in with Face Atelier, another one of my hero foundation moments. We prep the under eye to give us a nice little lift. Thank you, Danessa Myricks, Thank with you. the Vision Cream Cover. Set everything with the Evolution Powder, which is super fine. We also did a little bit of blush underneath that powder, so that way it's more pressed into the skin, it's lived into the skin, and it's not blush that's sitting on top, even though you're a blush that. girly. It's not about me today. We're doing clean girl aesthetic. I have to yes. change my personality. I need a new name. 
Maybe I'll go by Vanessa. Is that is Vanessa's wedding look like. Calm, first mm. of all. Let's, let's put that into the <laughs> ethos. She's also giving unbothered. She has a signature cocktail, but she's definitely not wearing one of my favorite dresses, which is Berta. Um, <laughs> she's definitely not wearing that. That's her wedding. Uh, you have the paparazzi on you. <laughs> this is the good sign. You're great on camera. Thanks.